talk about the team a little bit. You've got seven 40-man roster guys on this team, so you have some significant talent here. Yeah, you know, I think that uh, coming out of spring training, we were pitcher heavy. You know, our, our starting rotation's supposed to be really solid. Uh, unfortunately, we lost our opening day guy. Uh, and our third baseman a couple days ago. But uh, uh, as far as the, the, the team that we're breaking camp with this year, I think that uh, we got a little bit more to work with than we did last year. Baden Hop's a guy that's had a lot of time in the big leagues. Obviously, he got caught up in a, in, a, in a numbers game in terms of options, and clearly he's a major league pitcher. Sean West, a guy from Shreveport, that's a good one as well. Talk about them. Well, Hopper, you know, he, he's got major league stuff. Um, with him, just stay positive, keep pitching the way that he did in spring training, and get him out of here. Um, Westy pitched really well for us last year. Um, you know, had a good, strong spring training for us, uh, and you know, I, I think that they're going to help us quite a bit, and along with Kohler and Villanueva, and you know, everybody else. Um, we've got some power arms in the bullpen, so uh, I, I'm really looking forward to the season. With the similarity in climates from here in Miami, yeah. and similarity in ballparks with deep dimensions, does that benefit the development of players? I, I think pitcher. Uh, I, know, I know as a hitter, I, I probably wouldn't want to hit here, but uh, I, I think that we have, uh, with, with the pitching staff that we have, they're going to battle. Uh, like I said, we, they have some, some good arms coming out of the pen. Uh, we've got some power arms starting, and I, I think that we have hitters that are, are good gap-to-gap -gap hitters that uh, throw some line drives out there. So um, I, I think the makeup of the team, that they're not going to be trying to hit a lot of home runs and get in trouble. So uh, they'll stay with them in, in themselves and, uh, and, and go from there obviously has a different feel for you. I mean, you're coming in as the manager as opposed yeah. to coming in midway through the season. Talk yeah, about how it changes for you. It, it, it's been interesting, you know, just trying to organize everything. Uh, you know, I didn't get to, to work with the team that much in spring training because I was still with the big league team. But, uh, you know, just trying to get some schedules in and, and knowing that, the, that this is my team, it's kind of – I got to kind of have my stamp on the team. And um, it, it's – it's a challenge, and it's and it's something that I look forward to, and, and I'm excited. Ten guys back from last year's team that, that went through the Zephyr system one time or another. Mm -hmm. How much does it help you to have the familiarity with, with some players you saw here last year to kind of help the transition a bit more? Well, you, you know how they're going to react to to the AAA way of life. You know, everybody knows it gets hot down here. Our travel's rough, so having some guys that have gone through that for a summer that that's really beneficial. They, you know, other guys can lean on them on how things work uh, with the Marlins. So. Um, and, and the guys that came back are, are quality guys, great character, hard workers. So uh, it just makes my job a lot easier. How many Hispanic players participate in this season? Well, off the top of my head, I, I couldn't tell you. Uh, let, me, let me try to go around the lineup. <laughs> we've got Ozzy, we've got Ruben, Gotai, uh, Seda, Mata, Garate, Mendez. <laughs> it's only first day. Yeah, uh, that's kind of an ambush question. No, I, I think that's you know, we, no, we've got more than a couple. I mean, we've got five or six, I'm, I'm sure. And then uh, you know, we've got Marshawn that's hurt that that might come our way as a utility guy. Um, so uh, Sanabia from San Diego though, um, or Domingo, well, Domingo is just from LA. Oh, I didn't know. No. Um, so yeah, we, we, we've we've got some guys. Hmm? Uh, I was not there when it happened. Uh, I know that he has a broken left elbow, and they're saying four to six weeks. Um, Sanabia, um, I know it's a, a right arm injury. I don't know what the timetable is on his recovery, uh, but pretty two pretty significant injuries to to get going right before the season. So uh, the good thing with this team, and, and I, I talked about it earlier today, that we seem to have the depth and the versatility this year to fill in for those injuries uh, a, a lot better than we, we when we would have been able to last year. So, how much of a setback would that be for Dominguez? I mean, a guy that sits you very highly in this yeah. organization, and they want to see him in the bigs as quick as possible. You know, it, now. yeah, it's it's unfortunate. Um, you know, he he was swinging the bat well when he came down. Uh, he's a Gold Glove third baseman right now, um, and it's. You know, it's not a long time, but you know, the, the good thing is he's 21 years old. He's going to be here for for a couple of months, and you know, maybe I, I don't know. I, I I don't know if it'll be a setback. Uh, just knowing him, he, he's going to work hard getting back as soon as he possibly can, and and he'll he'll definitely help us when he gets back. Who are, who are a couple of guys that you think fans should definitely want to come out and see? 
guys to see? I, I, I think the whole team. Um, you know, one of, one of the things in our meetings that, that I was really looking for is, you know, energy guys, guys that play hard. Uh, all these guys seem to enjoy each other. Um, just with my experience, I liked team chemistry and, and good character, and uh, every guy that we've got out there seems to, to fit that mold. So being specific, you know, just by the numbers, you know, Kohler and, and Villanueva, you've got 30 wins between those two starters last year, so that's pretty impressive. Um, from what I saw in spring training, everyone in our bullpen's throwing 92-plus, um, and, uh, you know, we... We've got some veteran guys with Gotai and Thurston, Kroger, uh, a versatile guy that can play the infield and is a great athlete in the out outfield. Rotino, you know, I, I can go through every guy. Every guy has a little bit of something that he brings to the team, and, and I was really happy with, with the, the guys we broke with. So I, I'm excited. Thank you, Rich.